Hello my little neeps. Disassembly line. Wing Sung. 601. Got a lot of questions. What do you need? Knife? Multi-tool? No, I'm just kidding. You actually don't need anything like that. It's actually very, very simple. Uh, put away that big tool. That's not something I've been told before. But anyway, now this pen actually comes with a little bit of joy itself. You see, you get these little little tools with it, yeah, which is exactly what you need. The fun, isn't it? So here you got a little disassembly tool for the uh, vacuum unit. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side. And then here you have a wee bit of silicon grease. That's one way to use a converter. Don't accidentally put this in your pen. Like, don't put it in your pen and then use it because the silicon grease will get in your feed and you're going to be entering a world of pain. Sort of like when you cross the border with England. Now, anyway, pen. How do you disassemble this? Take the cap off, put it away, you don't need it. All this unscrews, we'll come back to that. Let's start at the back end, okay? Take off the blind cap, put away, you don't need it. Yeah, now you got this little assembly, very simple, that's why you use, that's what you get this tool for. Don't use it this way, it won't do anything. Use it the right way. Put it in, have to fill a little bit, it slides in, then screw. Keep screwing. Take your time. More fun that way. Now, the whole thing pulls out. That's your unit. Your little vacuumatic unit. Take some of your silicon grease. I'm not going to do it right now. But take the little cap off. Put a little bit of silicon grease out there. Not doing it now because it doesn't need it. That'd be wasteful. Don't waste. Granny told you that. She was right. Now, section. Ah. This is where things get a little interesting. Section. Good grip, twist. Nose cone. That's what this part is called by us pen disassemblers. Now here, what do we have? Collector, nib, feed. One of the most pathetic little feeds in the world, but that's okay. It's not the size that matters. Except when it does. You pull the whole thing out, you got a little barrel, barrel, nothing else here disassembles. Maybe you're able to take that little o-ring off, but why would you? That would just be stupid, wouldn't it? So don't do it. Now here you have four parts of pen. You have the little breather tube, comes out. You've got the collector, nib and feed. They come out, you see. And then here you got this little juice from previous inkings. And you have the nib and feet, and they separate very easily. These are very easy to flush, just don't flush them down the sink. It wouldn't be the first time. When you're ready to assemble the whole thing again, you just kind of align this nib and feet up to about that point. You see that? Up to about that point. What if you do too far? Well, it won't really damage the pen, it'll just look funny. You see, you've got little bits of feed sticking out from the nib, and it just looks weird. And at some point, it just gets absurd. Yeah, so don't do it. Collector, flush it under the tap, very easy. And when you're ready to go again, you take the breather tube and you gently slide it in from behind. Then, you take this alignment, as I said, about there I would say is pretty nice. And then you have your little collector, slide that on from behind. And just put it in, so it won't go any further. That's it, that's it, now you got it. Does it look alright? No, it doesn't, does it? It's not really aligned. If it's not aligned, take it out, do it again. It has to be proper alignment, you know, otherwise it just won't work. Nostradamus said that, that when everything doesn't align, the world will end. So, here you go. That looks pretty sweet to me. Like my grandma's haggis. She made the best. It looks sweet to me. Sweet, okay. Now, here's where things get a little difficult. But I'm sure we can figure it out together. Battle. How do you operate this? Very simple. You take the barrel, you take the nose cone, you line it properly. So make sure the nose cone is straight, you take your barrel, you push your thumb on top. Yeah, that's relevant. You put this in and you start screwing. Keep screwing. Now you see where that nose cone ends. Yeah? You see where it ends. Now you give this a slight twist. 
Okay, slight twist. Your thumb is in the same place as where you started. Remember, that's where you started screwing. So, that's where it ends. Okay. Now you unscrew it, but you keep the barrel straight. Now you take the nib and feet. Don't move your hand, your right hand. You have to move your left hand, otherwise you can't do it. You put that collector in, as straight as you can. Now, you twist it. So your thumb is on top again. You take your nose cone. This is the hard part. You have to align them up, you see. You screw that in. Bloody perfect. You see that? That is bloody perfect. That's a thing of beauty right there. Now, you understand what I did? I marked with my thumb the proper alignment where I started the screw. Then I twisted so that I knew where to put the nib in because that what the part that's on top then that's exactly where the nib will end yeah and then the nib and the tip of the nose cone will align and everything's fine now you take your little vacuum unit you put in you can screw it in by hand and then for the last bit you use your tool don't over tighten it it's not necessary Just give it a little twist that's it quick check works. Blind cap, screw it on, cap, drop mic, sit back, have yourself some haggis.